Hello, everybody. Today,、uh, we are introducing to you how to use the DFL PCIe. Here, this is the DFL PCIe Western Digital Hard Drive Auto Repair Equipment. Now, users can find there are four drives which can be connected to this equipment: three SATA drives and one IDE hard drive. From this side, we can check. This is SATA zero. This is SATA one, and here, this is one is SATA two, and this one is IDE hard drive. If users use one IDE to SATA adapter, then we can connect four SATA hard drives to this PCIe card, and refurbish four hard drives at the same time. If users want to refurbish more than four hard four hard drives, then users need to have this offline power strip. So with this strip, users can offer power to four hard drives at the same time. That means users can refurbish many more hard drives at the same time by this offline power strip to run offline self test. Now let's see how to repair the Western Digital hard drives automatically by this auto repair tool. First, we will connect one Western Digital hard drive to the SATA zero port. So this is SATA zero. This is the SATA zero power cable. This is the SATA zero data cable. Now I have connected this hard drive. Next step, I need to go to the software. Here is the software. Now we double click to open the software. Now this is SATA zero. We have just connected one hard drive to SATA zero, so I select SATA zero. We can also find SATA one, SATA two, and IDE ports. So now we select SATA zero and click OK. Here we need to power on the hard drive and wait until the hard drive is ready and searched. Now we need to check read hard drive ID. So it's very easy to find. This hard drive cannot be detected properly by the software, and it's one damaged hard drive. If we try to scan the hard drive, bad sector scan, here bad sector scan. Sorry, you cannot scan hard drive because the capacity is detected as zero. So for this drive, we need to repair it and refurbish it. It's very easy to use this tool to refurbish this hard drive. Zero capacity and the ID information is not detected at all. So we need to show、uh, show all families supported by this auto repair tool. This is 2.5 desktop,、uh, sorry, laptop hard drives. This one is 3.5 desktop hard drive families. Now we just click start, start to repair, because we want to refurbish this hard drive offline. So we need to select the second option, online article and offline self test. The first option is to refurbish hard drive online, and this one is to refurbish. Hard drive offline. For online Arco, this this section must be run as online. Now we can click OK. We need to select the firmware parts because when users buy this tool from Dolphin Data Lab, we will give. All users one firmware folder. Here, select it as the parts. Then click start. 
The second option, online Oracle and offline self-test. Click OK. Family ID. It's Jamaica. It's 2.5, so we find the ID number Jamaica, so it's 1.7. Click OK. PCB type. This information can be found from the PCB, so it's the second one. 1672-004. Next. We usually use the first option for this kind of hard drives. One. First. One. This option requires you to reduce the capacity or keep the same capacity. If we click cancel, that means you don't want to reduce the capacity. So I click cancel. One, I need to test the head to see if this hard drive can be refurbished. So I click OK. The software will refurbish the hard drive automatically. So these are all the steps to refurbish the Western digital hard drives. Now, after some time, the hard drive will spin down. Let's see when do we start the offline repair. We have one case study about how to refurbish Western digital hard drives. So if users want to check the case studies, users can go to the Dolphin official website here and click the DFL case studies and FAQs. Offline search. Okay, the first article is about how to refurbish the Western digital hard drives automatically offline. So this is one complete case study. After the article is completed successfully, users will get this message. This one is important. Only if users find this message within the log window. Arco test completes. If module 28 is good, start the self-test. If the self-test start failed, it means the sum heads are bad. So if users get this message within the log window, within here, the log window, then users can click stop. Sorry, users need to click uh, after this one, our code test completes. This message comes out now. Then we need to power off and we exit this program. Next step, we need to go to the PC, the desktop PC, and connect the power cable, the hard drive power cable. This is offered by the desktop PC. So we just connect the power cable to the power offline power strip. Now we remove this hard drive from the tool from the PCI equipment. And then we connect to this offline power strip. This is a power cable. We just offer power to the hard drive and then put it. Here is one power switch. This is at the power of status. Now we need to click this one, click it to power on the hard drive. Now I can feel the drive spins on. Yeah, spins up and then the, con the repair continues. So this is how we use the power of strip to run the offline self-test on the Western digital hard drives. So it's very easy. Now let's conclude all the steps. 
The first step, we need to go to the PCIe and uh, repair the hard drive to run the Arco. To run Arco online. After we finish the Arco online, then we remove the hard drive from the tool and connect to this offline power strip to continue the offline self-test. After maybe like 15 hours, 1, 5, 15 hours, or sometimes some drives take a longer time, like one or two days, then we just remove this tool and then connect back to the hard drive and we will see the drive has been refurbished well already. So using this same method, so users can connect more drives to the offline power strip to refurbish multiple drives at the same time. Thank you for watching this video.